Hello, everybody. Look what I did. Ta-da. Okay, so uh, I took that black and white Wild Whisper paper, and I thought, I wonder if I can color these flowers, and it turns out that I could. So I colored them with my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers, and they at first colored really blotchy and I was like, oh, this isn't gonna work. And then once they dried and the um, ink soaked into the paper, the ink all like blended together perfectly and it was absolutely stunningly beautiful. If you wanna see me color up one of these images, I'm going to, at the same time as I upload this video, upload a short and an Instagram reel showing my coloring uh, just of one of the floral images. And uh, yeah, I think they turned out so, so pretty. So FYI, you can, in fact, color the floral black and white papers any color you want and fussy cut them and that's what we're what I did today so I'm going to use this patterned floral paper from the in nature collection pack I have two of the branding strips and then I went ahead and I grabbed some washi tape from my stash because I am trying really really hard to put washi tape on every one of my projects during the month of October. So we'll see how that works and how much washi I can use up. I'm pretty positive about the whole thing, but we'll see, hopefully. I'm going to use a simple grid design today and I'm going to use three of these patterned cards to back my photos. And then the fourth pattern card I'm gonna use as a journaling spot. So I'm just gonna adhere my photos right onto my three by four cards and they're matted perfectly. So my uh, three by four cards, the way that I get them, or my three by four pictures, the way that I get them to be just the right size is I print them two on a four by six canvas using the project life app and I print them with a white border and then when I trim them out they are just uh, just perfectly enough smaller <laughs> than a 3x4 card that a 3x4 card mats them perfectly does that make sense okay let's get these florals on the page so I know I'm going to use the simple grid design and I'm going to kind of place the florals I know I want one at the top corner and one at the bottom corner and then I want to have three kind of floral clusters now where I put them here is not where they in, end up going I'm just kind of getting an idea of how I want this layout to come together all of my embellishments and actually when I put the cards onto my background I'm going to be using my new Vigilux wet glue. I have found with Wild Whisper design papers that they don't really like to stick to each other using um, my Kakuyo tape runner so I can stick the Kakuyo tape runner onto my picture and then my picture will hold the paper but when you try to um, adhere paper on paper with this with the paper from Wild Whisper you need wet glue for them to stick really well so that's why I am using my new Vigilux adhesive also as an aside has anyone seen the new glue press from my sweet petunia and if you have what do you think I mean I'm pretty comfortable just using my bottle of Nuvo Deluxe adhesive um, I don't really have a hard time with it too much but I'm still kind of curious as to whether I would like a glue press better. So I'd love to know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Just, you know, something to chit chat about today. Speaking of my Sweet Petunia, I am using my Cut Align rulers. I love these rulers to get all of my grid design straight and in place. I pulled out my Misty and some Aqua Teeny ink from Catherine Polar, and I'm going to use this stamp from the stamp set as my title. So this, st st this stamp just says, very simply, enjoy the little things. I'm going to ink up the stamp. I'm going to stamp it twice so I get a really nice, deep uh, aqua impression, and it's going to match the florals that I colored perfectly. 
I am using my uh, waffle flower grip mat to hold on to that stamp set or to hold on to my uh, paper. I love this grip mat. I love it. I love that I don't need any more magnets on my Misty. Makes me so happy. Now for my title, now that I have it stamped on that lovely just white cardstock, I'm going to use these new dies from Emily Moore Designs. I hauled these. In fact, I think the haul video is going to go up the same day that this video goes up. So it would have been up earlier this morning or earlier this afternoon. Um, I'm just holding onto that with some white tape and I'm going to go put it through my Sizzix switch. And this is why I love these dies and the idea behind them. The idea that I can mix and match these dies with any stamp set in my stash and create my own little title pieces for scrapbook layouts, sentiments, everything. So this cut beautifully. The I just chose the right die that fit my stamp and I have my title piece ready to go with a beautiful stitched edge. Genius! Now that I have my title in place, I'm gonna go ahead and start adhering all of these pretty floral pieces to my layout. When you create with these papers, it's very important that uh, you let gl the glue adhere and kind of soak down in and dry. Very much like when you color these papers, which is what I learned when I was coloring these with my zig markers. So you have to give them a beat, let the uh, glue soak into the paper a little bit, and then onto your background paper, and then you get a really nice, good uh, adhere. You know, the, it adheres really nice. Uh, if you don't let it kind of set for just those couple of seconds till they kind of catch each other, I guess would be the best way to put it. Uh, it can slide around a little bit. Now I am not going to waste any of these colored floral pieces, but I am going to trim off quite a few, um, both of the larger ones. But you can see here, like I trimmed off that yellow flower and then I'm going to take the piece I trimmed off and put, pop it onto the bottom. I oriented my grid more towards the top of the page because I knew I wanted to have my title there under the journaling and I wanted to make sure I gave myself some room. Uh, but I also don't want that bottom part to look odd or strange. And here I used my tape runner instead of my glue for that branding strip because I just wasn't thinking about it and then I had to add glue because it kept wanting to pop up. So to kind of fill in that bottom piece so that it looks balanced and uh, not unintentional. <laughs> I am going to kind of put those little floral pieces that I cut away from the sides up um, into the bottom. I hope that that made sense. I wanted to add a couple of things, something to this layout that wasn't paper. And what better thing to add to this than uh, three little flare badges. So I'm going to grab three of these cute little flare badges and add one flare into each of the little areas. I'm going to alternate between trying to decide what style of flare I want to use. I don't want them all to look the same. I wanted three different ones. So once I have chosen which flares I want to use, I'm going to adhere the flares using Terra Tape from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I find with uh, flares, especially the ones that have the metal on the back, you don't want to use wet glue at all. You want to use a dry adhesive. So I'm going to adhere them with the Terra Tape because I know that that tape is extra sticky and it will hold them perfectly. And here is my finished layout all done. I hope you have enjoyed this process. Didn't those flowers turn out amazing? I'm so glad I have two pieces of that paper because I can see myself coloring those flowers all different colors. Next time we'll we'll kind of play with the dragonflies and butterflies from the collection because I didn't even touch those. Um, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.